Welcome back to ETV. Hey, Sean McBride, the movie guy, says this week's new crop of movies really scares him. And that's just the comedies. Here's Sean to tell you more. There was something in the house. Chris is like connected. A real life poltergeist. With Halloween coming up fast, Hollywood's last spooky treat of the season arrives in the form of Paranormal Activity 3, the documentary style story of two sisters who befriend the invisible entity that lives in their house. Needless to say, mom and dad aren't pleased. We're getting out of here. Just get in the car and drive. Master, what is my destiny? MI7 wants you on the first flight back to London. Perhaps the scariest film out this week is the bad comedy Johnny English Reborn, where Rowan Atkinson returns as the idiot super spy who bumbles his way through a James Bond-style misadventure. I thought dreams were only for rich kids. Now dreams are for everybody. All you need is a heart. The Mighty Max is the true life story of a pioneering coach who helped her female players realize way back in the 70s that athletics wasn't just for the boys. If you like inspiring sports dramas with a girl power twist, The Mighty Max is for you. There were four of us against 40 of them. Was it 40? Or was it 400? Just 40. It was an off day. Finally, The Three Musketeers gets a very modern remake. It's still a grand sword fighting adventure, but now it's got cool gadgets and guns, Matrix style special effects, and Mila Jovovich fighting alongside The Musketeers. This is definitely a version of The Musketeers that isn't your parents' version, and it's not your grandparents' version. Every generation should have their version of Three Musketeers. And that's what's new in the movies this week. I'm Tom Gray, the movie guy for ETV. And joining us now, Sean McBride, the movie guy. Yeah, uh, no, let's not even, no. let's just no. skip the movies this week. Look, it's a bad weekend for movies, folks, uh, except for maybe Paranormal Activity 3. A lot of people, that is sort of a Halloween tradition for them, so it's going to kick off Thursday night at midnight. I will be there at that time. I haven't seen it yet. That's probably the one to see the rest of them. Eh, just skip them. And what have we got going on at the Flicks? Uh, two new films over at the Flicks. The first one is Black Power Mixtape. Uh, the one that I'm excited to see is something called The Way, which is Emilio Estevez, uh, his directorial, well, it's not maybe, but he's, he's the director, Martin Sheen's story of a father who learns that his son has gone out to walk El Camino, which is a, you know, sort of like a mystical path through Spain, and his son goes missing, so his father decides to you know, check it out himself and sort of makes a connection. So, uh, The Way and Black Power Mixtape are the new ones over at the And DVDs? DVDs, you know, I'm not a huge fan of this week's back new DVDs. I mean, Bad Teacher, Monte Carlo, I guess those would be the big ones. If there's a good one, check out Beats, Rhymes, and Lights, The Travels of a Tribe Called Quest. Quest. Uh, Tribe Called Quest, you yeah. know, that's something big from our youth. If you're a fan of hip hop, you will certainly want to check this one out. Uh, Michael Rappaport is the director of that. I think that is a very good film, a great little documentary about, you know, hip hop from my youth. So check that out. Sounds great. And then what have we got for local theater? You know, a lot of stuff in local theater. Hey, um, so for example, Evil Dead, the musical, I went to see it this weekend. See the spots on this program? Uh, these are the blood spots. They, they throw a lot of blood into the audience. So if you like that campy kind of stuff, Evil Dead musical going on. Uh, that is at Daisy's Madhouse, uh, playing at the Idaho Outdoor Association, 3401 Brazil. Tickets at daisysmadhouse.org. Also, a lot of fun Rocky Horror Show midnight performances on Saturdays, but check that out. Uh, it's playing in a temporary location, 710 North Orchard. Uh, go to stagecoachtheater.com. Uh, still playing Shipwrecked over at Boys Contemporary Theater, 3319224 or bctheater.org. Uh, not Knock 'em Dead Theater, basically uh, running over at Knock 'em Dead. Uh, KedProductions.org. The Butler Did It over at Boise Little Theater, and that is running um, through the 29th, and that's at BoiseLittleTheater.org. And finally, Twilight, uh, playing over at the Prairie Dog Theater. Uh, you get tickets in that at PDPlayhouse.com or 336P. All of those shows playing basically through the Halloween weekend, and then the next weekend we'll have nothing to talk about here. <laughs> but you got plenty of choices right now. Like I said, if you like fun, can't be Halloween fun, Evil Day. <laughs> Sounds great. Well, Sean, thank you so much. I think it's a great lineup of Halloween themed uh, live theater this week. There you go. Thank you much. Stick around. Mori TV is coming up right after this.